please introduce Dwight School and its educational mandate? Okay, Dwight School uh, was founded uh, roughly uh, 140 years ago, and um, it started off uh, as a, a school for students that wanted to go to Yale University. That's where the name comes from. It's Timothy Dwight, the president of Yale University, the gentleman who basically founded or, uh, Yale as a university instead of separate colleges. And it's a tribute to Timothy. Over the years, of course, we don't send students ex exclusively to Yale. They, they go to many uh, universities worldwide. And, um, but I think that's one of our primary purposes, that uh, we want to build leadership in students. And we want, if they want to be leaders, it's important that they get into good universities. One mistake with education, uh, when education started, uh, you know, and, I, and I'm going to be just brief here, but it started with the Industrial Revolution, right? And it started with the concept of education as a factory and all the students come in and they all come out the same. That's not what education is. It's not what re really you want. That's not what the world, how the world functions. You want students to come in and then discover what it is that they want to do and then they can pursue that. And we facilitate that process. That's what we call a spark of genius and that's what um, we try to develop. And in the process, we now, of course, students don't exactly know where they want to go, so we have to expose them to different uh, uh, cultures, to different concepts, um, and uh, give them skills, you know, critical thinking skills, to be inquirers. We want a student that will ask the right questions mm -hmm. and will know what those questions should be, mm -hmm. you know. And that you have to inculcate from a young age. You don't just come up and, and do that. It takes years to develop that inquiring mind. It's not like we teach necessarily one particular subject. We teach students how to think. Mm -hmm. And if they learn how to think, then they do well at university. They do well at university and they do well in life. They'll do well in whatever business they go to or whatever career they want to follow mm -hmm. because they've acquired basic principles mm -hmm. of um, inquiry, critical thinking. Based on your educational experience, what do you think are the necessary qualifications for students to become global leaders in the future? If you never have that opportunity, right to experience diversity right. and to see the beauty of diversity. Right. Then uh, the richness of diversity, how we're a better world right. because we learn different things from different people. Okay. There's different strengths, right? Okay. What we want you to do, what we'd like to do right. is that you retain your culture, right. that you have a strong identity with Korea. This right. is important. Right. And at the same time, be able to work with people of diverse culture, not just North Americans, but uh, you could work with um, Africans, with Latin Americans. We're in a global community and uh, students have to feel comfortable. If a student is just more aware and more understanding and could ask the right questions, right, they become better leaders and could fit better in um, an international global society.